Today is January 19th, 1901, and I am Ariana Akbal reporting for your local news station, WBHA, on location from Spindletop Hill near Beaumont, Texas. Nine days ago, on January 10th, Patillo Higgins and Anthony F. Lucas hit the big time when they struck oil here in East Texas. Beaumont used to be a sleepy farm town, but the discovery of oil here will change that. Texas businessman and amateur geologist Patillo Higgins had been convinced there was crude oil under the sand dome formations just south of Beaumont and had hired mining engineer Anthony Lucas to drill at Spindletop. An enormous gusher of oil, the largest gusher the world has ever seen, burst over 100 feet into the air and is spilling over the entire countryside, covering it in a thick lake of oil. Now, nine days later, the gusher is finally under control and the oil is being stored. The well is producing over 100,000 barrels of oil a day, more than one-fourth of the oil sold in the United States. Today, oil is used to make grease for machines and kerosene, which is used in lamps. But with the new discovery, factories can start using oil instead of coal and there will be more gasoline for cars. The first oil wells were in Pennsylvania in the 1850s. But in 1894, crude oil was discovered here in Texas in the city of Corsicana, which had grown into a boom town. There are now over 287 wells there. We can expect the same growth here at Spindletop. Spindletop is now the second largest oil field in Texas, and we can expect a lot of people to move here for work. And all this oil will help other industries grow too. This is Ariana Iqbal at Spindletop. Now back to the news desk.